In this video, I want to talk a little bit about replacement parts and why you might want to consider paying a little extra if you have to to make sure you get parts that are of good quality. Now, when I first got in the business, I mentioned how I tried to save money by buying discount capacitors and only to come to the conclusion that it wasn't worth it. I was buying inferior grade capacitors. Another friend of mine in the business had a bad experience buying some convergence ICs. He bought three of them from an outfit that he thought was saving him a lot of money. Unfortunately, he had to go out to every one of those customers' homes and do the job over again because those convergence ICs didn't last. So if it's a job you don't want to do over again, I highly suggest you buy parts from a reputable company, not a discount house, or from the uh, original manufacturer in some cases. Now, I've, I've bought a lot of generic parts. I'm not totally against using them in all cases. I mean, I've bought a lot of vertical ICs that were generic, uh, regulator ICs, horizontal output transistors, diodes, resistors. Um, it's not always necessary that you buy original manufactured parts. In fact, sometimes you can save a lot of money um, going with uh, a generic part. There was one diode I ordered. Oh, I forget who the original manufacturer was. I think it was paying about two something for it and that same two dollars bought me twenty perfectly good diodes uh, from some other outfit just because they're generic so you sort of have to figure out what you can and can't get away with I notice a lot of these uh, outfits I won't name any names here they're advertising these um, lamps for these digital light projectors and I don't know a whole lot about what you can and get can and can't get away with there if you guys have an opinion on that, I'd like to hear what you have to say about it because I notice you can save a lot of money if you go generic with those digital light projector bulbs, but again, I'd rather not have to do the job over again. So if it means having to pay an extra $50 or whatever it costs, I'd rather pay that extra $50 and have my customer telling everybody about what a lousy repairman I am and how my replacement lamp only lasted a month or whatever. So just some more uh, food for thought on buying generic parts versus the uh, original parts.